First up, as Iran prepares to elect a successor for the late President Ibrahim Raisi this Friday, two of the six candidates gearing up for the polls have already dropped out. Amir Hussein Hashimi was the first to rescind his candidacy for the presidential elections, and now Tehran's mayor, Ali Reza Zakani, has also withdrawn his candidacy. Now, Hashemi has been serving as one of Iran's vice presidents under Ibrahim Raisi. He earlier ran in the 2021 presidential elections but came in last, barely getting under a million votes. Now, let's take a look at the electoral contest expected to play out on Friday. Remaining names on the ballot are the former Revolutionary Guard Commander Mohammad Bakir Kalibaf, uh, Said Jalili, who ran the Supreme Leader Khomeini's office for four years, Masood Pejish Kian, a reform lawmaker, and lastly, the former Interior Minister Mustafa Mohammadi. The election is expected to be a three way contest between Kalibaf, Jalili, and Pejish Kian. Masood Pejish Kian of the Reformist uh, Front is regarded as the only one representing moderates and reformists. He has the support of other smaller pro reform fronts, as well as the former president, Mohammad Khatami, and the former foreign minister, Javed Zarif. He uh, backed the 2015 nuclear deal and has the support of the former President Rouhani's camp. He has hit out strongly against Western sanctions. Now, working against him is the fact that the Supreme Leader, Ayatollah Ali Khomeini, has seemingly undercut him uh, from what he sees is his support for the US. Another key contender is Said Jalili, who ran the Supreme Leader Khomeini's office for four years. He made an unsuccessful bid for the presidency in 2013 and withdrew from the 2021 race to support Ibrahim Raisi, whose death has now triggered these elections. The former nuclear negotiator has also said he is committed to protecting Iran against foreign interference. He's been a strong critic of the revival of the 2015 nuclear deal. Now, third among the front runners will be another conservative, Mohammad Bakir Kalibaf, who has promised to reduce the number of Afghan immigrants and has supported the strengthening of the axis of resistance. So those are the key contenders there for the Iranian elections that are going to be underway tomorrow. That is Friday, and this is an important moment for Iran, as remember these elections uh, are taking place after the sudden death of the former President Ibrahim Raisi, who had really taken on uh, the Amer taken on America on many fronts with his aggressive foreign policy. Now, our correspondent Anas Malik is now joining us from Tehran for the very latest on this. And Anas, uh, two more candidates have now dropped out of the fray, leaving fewer candidates. Uh, who are the front runners? Well, there are only four candidates who are now left behind out of the six initial who were approved. Uh, last night, uh, Ghazi Zadeh Hashmi is the first one who withdrew. And then a short while back, we saw uh, that uh, Mr. Zakani is the one who withdrew uh, the fact uh, from the candidature uh, from the run of the presidency. So now only four are left. Uh, the, the odds are or the bets are for Masood uh, Pezi Keshe. Uh, 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 that is number one and uh, number two the other one is uh, uh, Bakir Kalibaf uh, now Bakir Kalibaf is the right wing candidate uh, who also has another tough competition internally because Saeed Jalili, former diplomat, handpicked uh, uh, by uh, uh, the then uh, the then uh, Rehber or then Ayatollah, uh, wa uh, was the one uh, uh, who had appointed uh, Saeed Jalili as a deputy foreign minister. So all in all, uh, it is sort of a sort of a race to power in a literal manner uh, internally for the right-wing party because they have to consolidate their vote bank and make, make sure that uh, the left-wing or the reformist parties, Mr. Masood, uh, does not get to harp or bank on the votes that uh, uh, may uh, come in as a result of the split internally. Very weak. Right. Uh, Anas, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there. We will keep coming back to you for more. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.